The final week of the Reefscape regular season is in the books. So let's get through some nice little oddities and, you know, odds and ends that I wouldn't have gotten to in the recap video. Starting off at the Buckeye Regional, we have Rolling Thunder doing some co-op in a way that was not as uncommon as you would think. Uh, scoring algae into the opposing team's processor to get some of those co-op points always very fun to see rolling thunder actually won impact at the buckeye regional so maybe they'll bring the strategy to worlds who knows i also need to knows who did the play-by-play -play at the buckeye regional i need him to narrate my life and it's on red alliance has all three robots moving this time blue alliance has done the same it's like the Buckeye Regional said, uh, we got Morgan Freeman at home. Delivers more coral. And now 4611 hung up on a piece of algae. Oh, no. I think I want to sleep on a bed made of your voice. Seriously, someone get me in contact with him. I want to get him in the booth to make a new Isaac Hayes album. All three Red Alliance robots swinging in the breeze. Blue Alliance has done the same. It is a double triple. This was a great weekend for competitions, but it was an even greater weekend for announcers. Fimstein Finals 1, uh, he said it, he said the thing. I've been doing the Oh Baby a Triple soundbite for oh, Triple Deep Climbs, triple. but the announcer said it organically after a triple climb. We got one, two. Triple on the red side. On the New England divisions, I goofed a bit. I said the four seed So Sick Alliance faced off against the two seeded Ballard Alliance. It was actually the two seeded Ballard against the four seeded So Sick. Neshoba Robotics got trapped in their first district match on the So Sick field. Keep in mind, this team was the first pick of the first alliance. The first playoff match on this field. Their autonomous went the wrong way. No problem, just go back through the red station. All the cages are low, you can just go through. No, swings up, gets stuck on the cage. Takes them out of the whole match, lets the eight seed just run away with it i mean at least you get the parking points they would go on to get their revenge against the eight seed in the lower bracket later on uh and then they'd fall to the two seed who would then fall to the four seed and then the four seed would just win the whole shebang -a bang so numbers mean nothing in week six looking at an amazing team at the aerospace valley regional 1700 gator botics had some trick shot scoring also interesting that they're called the gator botics despite the fact that there are no gators in california but they got a short bot we stand short kings in this household and don't let anyone tell you that small bots can't score l4 you just gotta send it if you miss it hey counter for some trough points if you're lucky just reload and send it i don't know why they didn't go for a uh, trough bot or processor if you want to short bot co-op bots could have cooked this season but you know i i love the strategy they're going with just yeet this is a match where they were a defense bot but they got an auto shot their only shot of the game because they were on defense the whole time but they get the park and i'm showing this because it's a one point win for them they did go 14 and 11 on the season, uh, including going 0 and 2 in the playoffs as a backup bot. But their season is not done because they won engineering inspiration at Aerospace Valley, meaning we will see this bot and these shots in Houston. So, like, good luck. Could we get a short king, tall throw bot? world champion maybe also at aerospace valley 
we had the return of Team 22 Double Deuce. They did okay for the fact that they played in their first match since 2006. Tag yourself. Tag yourself if you were born in or after 2006, okay? I was in like the second grade, 2006. Switching over to the penultimate qualifying match at South Florida. 78-33, the Falcons. This is their final match of the year. But you know what? They know how to make a splash. Hey, you can't climb that. Best part about this is they won this match to finish 6-4 and four on the season. All right. Big three for week six. Offensive bot of the week was insanely tough because all of these bots are insanely goaded. Great offenses everywhere you turn. Uh, but I feel like this is the week to give it to OP Robotics. 2056. They got a five piece, and you know, five piece autos move mountains. They proved to be an extremely effective algae bot for the fact that they were nothing but tube in uh, like week one when I talked about them. And they even got a deep climb with a taffy puller. So here's hoping we get to see them cook at Worlds next week. Because this is just what the doctor ordered if they want to make another deep playoff push at champs defensive bot of the week also very tough because we saw possibly the best defense of the year this week so many great defensive strategy again makes me look forward to world so much because of how defense is gonna cook i called 75 30 raiders of the lost spark ray lewis for their hits at the granite city regional finals and i do have a precedent for giving it to a finalist team uh but i have another one in mind so honorable mention for them ray lewis is high praise to call a team uh, one could make the argument for 2767 Strike Force as defensive bot of the week. Even though they were mainly offensive, their defense after they finished with Reef scoring was insanely clutch. I've never seen a team play both sides of the field as well as they did this last weekend at States. Still honorable mention because defense was insane throughout i'm giving defensive bot of the week for week six to 687 nerd herd at aerospace valley mainly because their defense had a visible difference they lost finals two because they got stranded on an algae in that tiebreaker they frustrated the human player at the coral station frustrated the whole four seed at the coral station and prevented tribe from getting back to the barge zone in end game and yet yeah, controversial ending but that defense in my opinion big part of why they won the matches they did and the top moment of the week i'm giving it to playoff match six at the chesapeake district championship is this the most combined points of algae we've seen in a match? 868's human player put up 10 by my count. Might be uh, counting a bit wrong. They outscored bots on their alignment. They outscored their own team. Their own team beefed it trying to score algae into the barge because there was so much algae in the barge and then they were able to right themselves get the park almost got the deep climb so much algae everywhere just oh, oh for me okay i guess I'm, I'm i guess i'm scoring it into the processor into the barge the announcer was loving it 686's guy has the softest hands in town puts another 
piece of algae up in that barge. They're going to have to send another barge out to hold on to it. So that's it. For week six, next stop is Worlds. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my Worlds predictions because divisions have been announced and oh buddy, oh pal, these are some divisions of all time. So I will see you then. And remember, gracious in victory, professional in defeat. Amen. Attempting to put an algae into the barge, but I don't know if they're going to make it. Let's look over on the Blue Alliance. 76-11, Amal Hawk Robotics. Oh, we have a robot tipped over. That is Miami Beach Bots.